Hello everybody, my name is Zul, and welcome to my video on how to install the Sith Lords Restored Content mod for the Steam version of KOTOR 2. If you're looking at how to install this mod for the retail version of the game, click here to be taken to that video. This video is only going to deal with the Steam version of the game. Now that we sorted that out, there's a couple of caveats I would like to give you before we begin. Uh, first of all, I am running on Windows 7 64-bit, and I'm using NVIDIA GPU on a PC. You may experience crashing if using an AMD graphics card or an Intel integrated graphics card on a laptop or something. You also may experience some problems using a different operating system, although I have confirmed this works on Windows 8.1 and on Windows Vista. Installing the Sith Lords Restored content mod for the Steam version of KOTOR 2 is actually quite simple. The first step is to download a fresh copy of KOTOR 2. If you've already had the game installed for a while, maybe you tried out some mods, I would really recommend that you uninstall everything, delete the files, and then give yourself a fresh slate to work on. This just makes things a lot simpler later on. After you've done that, launch KOTOR 2 at least once. You can kind of play around with the options if you'd like, but the main reason you're launching the game is to make sure that it doesn't crash. Obviously, if the game crashes at this point, then you know that the crash is not because of the mod. If it crashes afterwards, then it might be related to something to do with the mod's installation. This will just help for troubleshooting later. Uh, after that, you're gonna need to head over to deadlystream.com and download the mod itself. Now, I've actually already gone ahead and done that, but uh, the link will be in the description. All you have to do is hit the download button here and you will get an executable file. As you can see, I've dragged the file to my desktop, which I would recommend you do as well. Double click on it and hit run if it prompts you with anything, and then go ahead and click yes, selecting your language of choice for the launcher. After that, go ahead and click next for the Sith Lords Restored Content Mod Launcher. Now, once you reach this screen, you're going to need to know the default directory for the game. On screen here is the 32-bit Windows and 64-bit Windows default directory. Now, I keep my Steam in my D drive, so if you keep your Steam games somewhere else, you're going to need to put in the applicable um, directory. Uh, the main things in common are Steam, Steam Apps Common, and Night's the Old Republic 2. After you figured out the directory, hit next, and then select the version of the Sith Lords Restored content mod. This has to mess match your version of KOTOR, so if you use the English version of KOTOR, you gotta use the English version of the mod. Pretty simple. After that, hit next, and you're going to be brought to the installer here. Now, at this point, I just want to bring something up. Some people may be wondering why we're not disabling updates on Steam, because you see that a lot for guides to show you how to install this mod, and quite simply, it's because you can't anymore. If we go over to the properties of this game and check the update settings, we will see that there's no longer an option to disable updates. If you're paranoid, you can select the option to only update this game when you launch it and create ample backups of your Steam folder or something like that, but from what I've seen, there's no problems, and that's because there's no more official updates for this game. There hasn't even been any Steam news since 2013, so it's not really anything you're going to have to be overly concerned concerned about. I've played this game quite a bit with this setup and I have not had any problems where it auto updated or anything. After that, just go ahead and click finish. Now, if you didn't uncheck it, it's going to launch the README. Now, the README is actually a really valuable tool if you're having problems because there's an FAQ and a list of known issues, so I would recommend going and reading that before you come here and leave a comment and say that something's not working because this might be able to help you. There's also a full list of mods that are compatible and mods that don't work with it, so you can read that as well. So I really do recommend you check out the README. Once we have the mod installed, however, we are going to launch KOTOR 2 just to make sure that things work. So let's do that now. If everything worked out for you, you should be presented with this screen showing you that the Sith Lords Restored content modification has been installed. I recommend doing your test launch before installing any texture mods or anything like that because some of them do replace this logo here and they might make it say something else. So it's a good idea to just install the Sith Lords Restored content mod, launch it, and make sure it's working. Now that that's been done, we can move on to the next step in this video, which is to install M4, the Droid Planet mod. So let's get started on that now. Now that the Sith Lords Restored content mod is installed, we are going to move over and download M478EP. This is the Droid Planet mod, you may have heard of it, and it is an add-on to the Sith Lords Restored content mod. I highly recommend it. Uh, you'll find out more about this in my review of the mod, which is going to be coming at some point in the future. I'll put a link once that's done somewhere. Uh, but anyway, on to the installation. This mod can be downloaded over on deadlystream.com. Just head over to the file page linked in the description and click the download button. 
Once you've done that, you will get another executable which I have dragged to my desktop. Just double click on the executable and it will begin to run. After that, just hit next and you're going to want to put the exact same destination you put in before. So as we remember earlier, it's the same one. Now for me, that's this, but for you, it might be something else. You should be able to remember that far back into the video what you did. And after that, hit next. Finally, go ahead and click the install button. Uh, this will take a tiny little while, so I'll just cut ahead to when it's done. Once the installation is done, you can go ahead and hit finish. Now, this mod, unlike the other one, is not going to be immediately evident when you've installed it. In fact, you're not even going to be able to visit M4 until after you've finished the planet of Korriban. So just keep that in mind if you're doing a playthrough. However, I do recommend that you launch the game and check to make sure if everything's working. As you can see, my game is working perfectly fine. Once you've reached this point, the game is playable with both the Sith Lords Restored Content Mod and M4. If you have any other questions, make sure to check the mods pages following the FAQs. If not, hit me up in the comment section of this video, I will be happy to help you out. And now that this has been done, you can actually move on to the next step in the recommended path of installing mods to KOTOR and get your game to run at a widescreen resolution. By default, KOTOR doesn't actually have that many screen resolution options, which is unfortunate. Uh, luckily for you, however, I have a video that covers that topic. So click here on the screen to be taken to my video that covers how to get KOTOR 2 to run in a widescreen resolution. This is 1080p, uh, it also includes other resolutions, so don't worry if you're using a slight different monitor. Anyways, if you're looking to get the game running perhaps on a retail version or some other version of TSL and this didn't work, uh, you can go ahead and click here to be taken to my other video which covers the retail version of installing the Sith Lords Restored Content mod. Now that you have this done though, you can actually go ahead and play the game, or you can look at a lot of other really fantastic mods for KOTOR 2. I would recommend making sure you have compatibility with the Sith Lords Restored Content mod, but a good place to start is texture mods. Lucky for you, I also do videos about that on my channel. Linked in the description will be a playlist of KOTOR 2 mods for you to look at and enjoy. Anyways, I hope this guide was helpful. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment down below. Until next time, I have been Zool. I hope you have an excellent day.